I know your dreams are gonna come true, and I'm just so happy to be part of it. I get to watch. You deserve it. I want to be successful enough to buy my mom a house one day, and I'm willing to do anything it takes to get in one of those chairs. On a scale of one to ten, how bad I want this, I would say a hundred million. <laughs> I just want to be How are you doing, Javai? I'm great. How are you? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I'm here today to get a chair. My family's here to support me, and I just love them so much. I'm doing this for me and them. Yeah. How old are you? I'm 16. Are you ready to take one of these seats? Yes, sir. Show me what you got. and Blair's are still up for grabs. It's time to meet our next challenger. My name is Saeed Renard. I'm from Brooklyn, and I sing R&B so much. I'm one of 21 kids. My house growing up was full of love, full of songs, very loud, mostly because I was always singing. <laughs> I got all the answers to your questions. For a living, I make money at however I can. Long as it's music I'll involved. Be the teacher, you could be the lesson. I'm a songwriter, a vocal producer, and a vocal coach. La, la, la. Honestly, I've been in this business for like 15 Don't years. I had some success in my career. I won a Grammy for songwriting on Layla Hathaway's album. I was excited for an hour. <laughs> And then I was like, well, your bank account don't say that. <laughs> so you might want to calm down and get back to grinding. Well, you can tell I've helped a lot of artists find their voice with their project, but I never had, you know, the time for myself to do it for me. I'm not getting any younger. So now it's my time. Well, you can tell deserve a chair because I worked hard. I put in work. And I think it's about time for me to make my mark. Hi. How you doing? Can I tell you you have the best smile I've ever seen? Thank you. Are you ready to sing for us tonight? Yes, I am. And you think you can take on our four right now? I think I got this. You got this. All right, Saeed, bring it. So much that you 
just gonna see Oh, what kind who oh, scared sometimes Who isn't always strong Can you feel the hurt in me? I feel so I just know. My name is Evie McKinney. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Ready? I'm more ready. I'm more like I need to get a seat and I feel like, you know, Ooh. I got some moves, you know. Once I get past those judges, my whole life will change. I just need to get a seat. Hello. Hi. Tell me your name. My name is Evie McKinney. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. So you must have been feeling music in Memphis as a kid, of course. Of course, of course. How did you uh, get into music? My father was an R&B singer. All of my brothers and sisters sing. And my father is the reason why I'm standing on this stage Woo! right now. He's the reason. Oh, it's I grew up in public housing, and it wasn't the ideal place to live in. And being the youngest of seven, you know, all of my brothers and sisters, they used to always look out for me. From a dream. My dad was a gospel and blues singer. He spoke so much life into me as a little girl. I remember one particular memory when he told me, he said, you're going to be the next Alicia Keys. <laughs> I looked up to him, and my dad was my everything. That day when my father passed away, I remember feeling so lost, so confused. And so empty. How will I know if my dad saw me? He would definitely be proud of me. I'm so sorry. How will I know if you really love me? My father is the reason why I sing today. Every time I get on that stage, it's, it hasn't been one time when I haven't said, Daddy, this is for you. He's the reason. Thank you. Thank you. Go for it. Mm -hmm. I got a feeling she's going to kill this one. Right? Yeah, I think you're going to kill down and tired of living life on a merry-go-round and you can't find a father but I see it in you so we can walk it out and move mountains we can walk it out and move move mountains 
mountains and I'll rise up, rise like the day. I'll rise up in spite of the age. I'll rise up and I'll do it a thousand times again for you. that beautiful smile yeah. fool you she's got fire Woo! i'm kendall page i'm 20 years old and i'm from circleville new york circleville is small <laughs> um, it's just like one street there's a gas station a bunch of houses and a fire station I work in this awesome music store. They support what I do completely. Whenever I miss work for a gig, my job calls it Kendall following her dreams day. Kendall's following her dreams again. <laughs> I've been trying to make it in the music business for the last seven years. I'm playing anywhere I can, coffee shops, bars, burger joints. But my dad told me I had till the end of 2018 to basically make it in music or I have to go to school. So the pressure's on. Being on the four is my chance of proving to my parents that I can really do it. I have worked so hard for this. I'm going to give it all I got. If I make it past the panel, that would probably challenge Javaya. Javaya is the one to beat. Last week, I saw Javaya perform. She was good, but I definitely think I'm better. <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Kendall Page. I'm from Circleville, New York. How old are you? I'm 20. So, like, you have a job? Is it a yep. full-time singing? I would love to do full-time singing, but I work at a music shop. I used to work at a record store, too. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I love it. <laughs> so what song are you going to sing today? Tonight I'm singing Me, Myself, and I. Yeah. Woo! Uh -huh. The stage is yours. You're so cute. As far as I can see, I just need privacy. Plus a whole lot of green, get on this modesty. A Ferrari, I'm buying three. A closet, a Saint Laurent, get what I want when I want, cause the hunger is driving me, yeah. Ooh, it's just me, myself, and I. Solo out until I die, cause I got me for life. Let's go to me. We at the floor. We at the floor. Uh -huh. How do you feel? I feel good. You know, I've been practicing all week. You're right. 2 a.m. in the morning, he's up saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm Tim Jr. I'm 18, and I grew up with music. Do you like good music? My dad used to be in a gospel group back in the day. We had a recording studio in our basement, so I would always come down there, and I started singing, and I knew, like, okay, music is in my genes and in my blood. Oh, yeah. When I was 10, my dad took me to New York to audition for Lion King for Young Simba. And after six callbacks, I ended up getting the role. My parents packed up everything we had in Philly, and we moved to Vegas. Taking on that major role was life-changing. Oh, yeah. oh, the stakes are high. My family gave up everything so I could do what I love to do. So I'm going to make them proud. Now I'm ready for my next chapter on the floor. Oh, yeah. oh. What's your name? Tim Johnson Jr. Beautiful name. Senior somewhere here. Really? Your family's here tonight? Yeah, I got my family here. I got my... Oh, oh y'all see y'all? Oh, I hey. see you. Beautiful family. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And how old are you? I'm 18. Oh, I'm my 18. God. Okay. Yeah. Tim, what's your dream? My dream? <laughs> Basically, I want to make this my job. I love music, and I have a passion for it, and I believe, like, if you got a passion for something, you got to do it. Got to do so, it. Yeah. All right, and what are you gonna yeah. sing today? I'm gonna take it back, and I'm gonna do Al Green. Please. Let's stay together. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Okay, y'all gotta vibe with me. Y'all gotta vibe with me. Amazing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And you think you can challenge Candace? Cause that's our only one left. Look, Candace is crazy. She's a beast. She's a beast. She's a beast. But I think I got it. Yeah. I think I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, hit it. Let's do it. You want to challenge going up there? I do know who I would like to Ooh. challenge. I want to challenge Jason. Are you ready to talk some smack to Jason Warrior? He can talk oh. smack if he wants to, oh. and I'm just going to do what I do best. Do your actions meet your words? Oh. Walk the walk. I don't think Jason has any idea what's coming from today. He's been the front runner for a while, but I think time may be up. I'm going to go out there and let my voice speak for itself. Bless up. Introduce yourself. My name is Vincent. Vincent, do you have any experience 
in this music business. I've been singing since I was five. My dad's a former gospel singer. This is the big stage, and this is a big night. Sure. Let's go. We got it. Let's go, baby. My name is Allie Caldwell. I'm from New Jersey. Since I was a little girl, singing was something that I wanted to do. When I first told my mom being a singer was something that I wanted to do full time, she was like, I think you should get a job. So when I was 23, I was working as a dental assistant. I was literally in a patient's mouth. I just like broke down crying. The lady was looking at me like what her mouth is wide open and I was just like, this is not where I'm supposed to be. And that's when it really hit me. I decided to do this music thing full time, no matter what. Started at open mics, events. That opened up a lot of doors and gave me some amazing opportunities all over the world. For the past five years, I've been on the road touring. This is my opportunity to finally make it here in America. I traveled around the world to get here to the four, and I'm not leaving here without one of those seats. Hello. Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Allie Caldwell. What do you do for a living? I am a professional singer. Yes, girl, yes. I quit my jobs and decided to go all the way for it. Amazing. And what song are you going to perform for us? I'm going to do Tell Me Something Good by Shaka Khan. OK. Take it away.
Kelly Caldwell. Where'd you go? Instead of drowning in the past. My dad was at the height of his career and suddenly he had this shift in his beliefs and decided that there was no hell and that everyone was going to heaven. If he didn't condemn, why do we? The community labeled my father as a heretic. Friends I had since I was little, suddenly they stopped talking to us. The church eventually shut down and we lost everything. Tell him I'm no fool. I can't even imagine all that he had to like go through for him to still like come home and smile. But his heart and his determination has always been consistent. And that's what inspires me and that's what I feel like I have because that's my pop. Majesty used music and that's how she managed her pain. She would kind of lay her head on my lap and sing. It's unspeakable. I can't tell you how much I, I love her. Getting one of those seats in the four would be validation that I do have what it takes. So I'm determined to take one of those chairs. Hello, hello. What's your name? Where are you from? I am Majesty Pearson. I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Yes, 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 I'm 21 years old. I grew up in the church. My father is a pastor. My family's here. My mom, Gina, my brother, Julian. I see y'all. What are you doing up there? Are you talking to the fool? I'm talking to the fool. Already? <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, oh. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's hear what you got. Thank yes. you, thank you. around this room, I just don't think anyone's got it. There's a lack of soul around here. And that's what we need is a mad dog with soul. My name is Jesse Kramer. I'm 21 years old, and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. Growing up, my parents took me to church. My mom kind of kept it on the down low that there was other music other than just gospel and old hymns and bluegrass, just because they didn't want me to be inspired by rock and roll. But I've always been kind of uh, a rebel. 
in high school. I was being, you know, a rock star, coming home late, smelling like smoke, and my parents thought I wasn't doing what a God-called man should do. But uh, I think that rock and roll is where God and the devil shake hands. My parents gave me an ultimatum saying, it's either church or rock and roll, and I chose rock and roll. I was about 18 when I left home for good. I couch surfed for a little bit, you know. I was playing on the streets and just trying to scrounge for change. I would go a couple days without even eating just because I didn't have money. But anywhere I'm able to play music is home. When I hit a stage, the music just takes me, and it's amazing. I think it'd be really cool to be one of the four, just because I'm a wild card. I think the world absolutely needs a new rock star. I'm here to bring it and show you exactly that rock and roll is not dead. Bless up, they call me Father of Asad. What do they call you? They call me Jesse Kramer. Jesse Kramer. Is this a hobby? Is it full time? This is what I do. This is my life. I chose rock and roll. I like that. The question is, are you ready to rock and roll, though? I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> Let's get it. be a battle to remember I'm never bagging down it's always gonna be a fight for my mom for my dream I'm ready to give it everything I got for this spot on the floor I'm ready to eat hello hello hi nice to meet you what's your name my name is Quentin Ellis Quentin how old you? I'm 17 years old. Oh, you're just a baby. You're so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, why are you here on the floor today? I'm here on the floor, first of all. You know, you guys are my idols. And Diddy and Kylie, you guys are moguls, you know, especially in the fashion. Sneakers, you know, I had to put a little heat on my feet for you, Diddy. I seen that. I was yeah. about to tell you. I put a little seen heat it. on my feet for you. So I, I just want to... I feel like you guys can, you know, take my artistry to the next level. And what do you do when you're not singing? I have my own sneaker business, so, you know. Oh, okay. I, you know, like, like you guys, I, um, I'm a reseller, so, you know, any sneaker Yeezy. Hold on, I have a question. I, I'm looking for some off-whites yeah. and some classic Jordans. Can you help me out with I that, got entrepreneur? You. I got you. I, I got see you. you. I see you. All right. And you think you can take on our four? I do. Okay. Yeah. I like his energy. I like his energy. Okay, Quentin, we'll take it away. Hey! When you feel it in your body, you found somebody who 
Makes you change your ways like hanging with your crew You said you act like you're ready but you don't really know And everything in your past you wanna let it go I've been there, done it, messed around After all that, this is what I found Nobody wants to be alone If you're touched by the words in this song Then maybe you gotta get out of bed If you miss a day without your friend, your whole life's on track. You got it bad when you're stuck in the house. You don't want to have fun. It's all you think about it. You got it bad when you're out with some point. When you keep on, keep on. Listen, I'm your man and you're my girl. I'm going to tell each other whole wide world. You got it bad. You don't wanna have fun 